close up the end of this. I just made a blank here. Make it a smooth connection. This is where the stem is going to go. And we're going to now attach a handle on. Then we're going to do the flame cut. And the flame cut is the most fun and tricky part of making a and this is the part that you're going to want to practice. So some people use jacks and diamond shears like in the hot shop. But I prefer flame cut. So we're going to get a, t a sharp small flame. I need to sharp and small as we possibly can. And we're going to hold it. We're going to choose one spot where we're going to cut it. We're going to hold it underneath the bubble. So it's just grazing the bottom. And when it's grazing the bottom, the flame is actually going to kind of go underneath and then around the sides because of laminar flow. So that's going to be more efficient. 
So I like to clean cut it from the bottom rather than the top for that reason. We start a little slow. So we can really just create a line of heat and then we go more quickly. And then you'll be able to see the line of heat. And then when I see the line of heat, I'm going to spin faster and faster. And then you rip it like that. Didn't blow it all. I didn't blow it all. Some people do. I don't like to. I find that I can do better without blowing. Um, so then you rip it like that and you have you know, ideally a clean form. One side can be ugly, that's fine. That's not a piece. Um, and it, it might be a little, like, um, a little funky. So you might have to do some cleaning up. But if it's really thin, we're just gonna, we can clean up with the flame. So I'm just gonna heat the very end, like this. And let it thicken up a little bit. Did you do like a crack one? Again? Would you do like a shot glass? Yeah, yeah. I would do. I do all my cups this way. I love flame cutting. So I'm letting it thicken up, and just by heating that very end, it kind of is normalizing itself. You can do the swipe if you have like any real blips. You can do the wiping technique, like to clean it up, or you can use your shears a little bit. Anything that any weirdness you have here is going to be amplified once you flare it out. So it's good to clean up as much as you can now. And I'm just gonna thicken up till it's about the same thickness of the rest of the, the form. And then I get my paddle and just tap it gently. I'm not doing anything crazy with that. And then you wanna have a nice long handle for this. Like plenty of room. And we're going to Focus the heat on this part. Let me see if I can get a better angle for this camera. Okay. We're gonna focus the heat on this part here. And slowly at first, while we're building the heat in, And you'll feel it starting to move. So I'm spinning with both hands. And it will open. Come out of the flame and keep spinning because you're still shaping it. Are you heating just the rim or are you also heating like the I was really starting at like the rim, building the heat there the most, because that has to move the most. And then I built like a little bit, like a centimeter or two on the inside. It all depends on how much you want it to flare out. Like if it was a really pointy form and I wanted to flare out more, then you could heat more on the inside. But just, it's a heat gradient for sure. So there's our, there's our foot. This is pretty fun. It happens pretty quickly. And then we can put it in our holders um, and it, make a sweet stem for it, et cetera, et cetera. Any questions? Do you guys want to see like a little cup? Okay.